Three, two, one. The Debris Impact Facility at Texas Tech, where since 1974, engineers have used tests like this to improve construction techniques in Tornado Alley. A brick wall filled with concrete and rebar is able to stop a 2x4 traveling over 100 miles per hour. Watch again at a different angle in slow motion. The Lubbock tornado had everything to do with our being involved here because... Dr. Ernst Kiesling, professor of civil engineering at Texas Tech, has continually worked towards shelter quality and standards development, serving as executive director of the National Storm Shelter Association. We simply saw that we had a, a superb laboratory with a lot of damaged buildings. So we, a small team got out and documented that, took photographs, and, and uh, then looked at how the, the buildings failed. While below ground shelters were the norm, Dr. Kiesling's staff did tests to prove above ground shelters also provided safety during a tornado. We concluded that we could also harden and stiffen a small room economically to provide a very, very high degree of occupant protection. Back at the debris impact facility, here's a two by four fired through a common wall found in most homes. Clear. Three, two, one. The fact of the matter is, had this been a typical house, it would have taken several walls or other objects to stop this missile. If your initial inclination is to go just to a closet, but if you look in your construction of your home and the closet shares an exterior wall, maybe better to get out of that closet and go towards an interior hallway or something to put as many walls in between you and the outside as possible. That's why we say to seek shelter from a tornado somewhere in the centermost portion of your home, but preferably in a storm shelter.